Hi, my name is Dara Whelan. I'm a recent nursing graduate from the University of Galway. I've been through the education system. I'm now currently working as a staff first nurse in the University Hospital of Galway. I'm just after finishing my night duty, so excuse me if my energy levels are small but low. <laughs> Today is about the college's future. And I've been asked to give my thoughts and opinions on how the experience of future students could be improved. The first point I would like to make is about care. Care is what nursing is all about. This might sound obvious to you, but I believe in caring for ourselves as well as patients. At the start of college, we were introduced to a lot of theory. However, when we start placing them in the wards, it's like a different reality. There are skills in the wards that just can't be covered in textbooks. While on placement, we were given a preceptor who's aware of our skills and limitations to provide us with safe learning. However, due to our preceptors working nights and weekends, we can often be left isolated. There are so many situ situations where you can be asked to do something you haven't been trained for, and this can be quite stressful. This is not a situation you want to be involved with dealing with in the likes of a cardiac arrest. What I'm saying is that when we are on placement, that we're immediately thrown into the deep end and we need to be trained for real life situations. This means we see some distress and aspects of life that other people our age don't encounter until they're much older and some people never experience them at all. To be effective and confident in our roles, we need to be prepared for real life scenarios and our courses need to equip us with real life practical skills. Older colleagues might say that's how we learned and that's true. But in recent years, I feel we've become more understanding and more empathetic. We certainly appreciate the long-term effects that stress has. So looking ahead, I believe it would far, be far easier if students gained essential real-life experience and practical, and practical skills before they reach the ward. But even with these skills, nursing will always be a demanding profession. Every day is different and brings new challenges. So I have found that committing to a self-care routine is vital to be fresh and at your best. After a stressful shift, the easy option is to sit down in front of a TV and binge watch. <laughs> but I prefer to follow a disciplined morning and nighttime routine. One technique I use is meditation, as it allows me to filter my stresses out of my life and train my body into living different emotions of higher frequency to perform. If I did have a recommendation, I would say that a self-care officer equivalent to clinical placement officers who monitor our educational progress would be beneficial. This would be someone that would check in on students and ensure they are coping with everything okay. The final point I would like to make is about the import importance of encouraging mutual and shared trust. I play a lot of sport. Although I've taken a step back this year due to work so soaking up so much of my energy, but I am quite clear about the importance of trust in a team. When everyone goes off in solo runs in different directions, it's a disaster. Instead, critical thinking and shared decision making are way better ways to get results. I see the same situations in wards. When there is mutual trust and respect, and when people have learned coping skills to de deal with negative experiences, everything works much smoother. This is especially important due to wards being so short staffed. I'm delighted to have this chance to talk to you today. I think it's a very positive signal that the voices of students are being heard. Hopefully this will feed into the education and initiate positive change. Understanding what day-to-day -day nursing involves and having more of the basic skills at the beginning of placement will reduce stress all around. I'm not talking about students like me, but also staff. And the way things are, they're just not really fair in the patients. So to sum up, I'd say we need to look beyond the theoretical. We should encourage and train students to look after themselves. They should be prepared for realities of the world, from basic patient care skills to understanding how to develop trust between team members. Students need to be ready for the realities of how people work together and how to cope with the inevitable day-to-day -day negative setbacks. But most importantly, I think we need to ensure to find ways to ensure that students look after themselves. Because if we can keep ourselves safe, calm, and positive, how can we do the same for our patients? And at the end of the day, that's all we're here to do. Thanks very much.